What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book Four Force Season Two Theory, y'all. My bad. I really was supposed to have this video out one or two days earlier, but I'm gonna be real with y'all, cause y'all my family, y'all my loyal supporters and viewers. I did a whole lot of partying over the weekend. I drank a whole lot of Luna Azul, a whole lot of Jose Cuervo. I had sex with two different women over the weekend, and I was on ecstasy, so my body had to recuperate. <laughs> was that too much information? But anyways, let's talk about Shanty, right? Let's talk about Shanty and Jannard, and my theory to where I'm going to theorize that Shanty already contracted HIV or some kind of uh, needle-related infection from Jannard. And if she hadn't gotten it already, it's definitely going to happen. Now, the reason why I feel this way is for the simple fact of this. I'm more sure now that it's going to happen because we've got real confirmation that Shanti is really in love with Janar. Now, it was speculative all the way up until the previous episode. But once I seen... Shanti go full jukebox on, on Jannard's underling who was trying to suggest that she went against Jannard and she was like, listen, go against me or my man ever again and I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill your grandmama. <laughs> she went full days loaf on him. <laughs> your whole family could get it, right? And then I thought about it. Like, she got mad because... Not only he was telling that Jannar was on that stuff and he wasn't moving right, but also because she knew that all the boys were talking about how, you know, Jannar, Jannar had a dick whip. You know what I'm saying? She was hypnotized. She was addicted to what the ick did. You feel me? So that, that already had me thinking. And then when you go a couple scenes later, now you got Jannar chilling. He going through withdrawals or whatever. He fighting the urge, right? He got to get out the house because all he can think about is getting high. And then you see Shanti, fine ass, <laughs> looking all beautiful and chocolatey and naked, right? To the left of him, I'm like, oh, they just did it. And at that point, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, see, here's the thing, right? Now that we know she got this current unwavering, undenying, undying love, affection, and loyalty for, for Jannard, the fact that they just slept with each other again after she was told that she was hypnotized because he laying that pipe down, right? That leads me to understand that she's going to contract something, something, something. And then when I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I'm like, they building up this whole he woman man haters club thing, right? With Claudia, right? They showing that Claudia get violated by a man every chance she get. <laughs> They building it up. They building up Claudia to have some type of coalition with women. And what would bring, what would bring Shanti all the way to her side would be her being violated by Jannard in some type of way. And that's if she either get HIV or hepatitis or something, or if that's that's if Jannard shows some kind of loyalty to anyone else over her. It will happen that way. By the way, sidebar, sidebar. I don't have enough information to make a video on this, but the woman who Claudia is dating, she's definitely up to no good. And I'm going to call it now that woman who Claudia is dating and she's trying to get Shanti out of that deal for next episode. She's probably the one who set up the robbery. And she's probably the one who told the guy who put the knife to Claudia leg, like, yo, make it real. Make it real, cut her leg. And they didn't expect Shanti to be Shanti, right? Right? The guy's probably, you know, a brother or some, some crazy stuff like that, right? Be prepared for that. She's probably not going to make it past episode eight because Claudia is going gonna, is gonna to put her right down. 
Cody is going to send her to two-step with Jesus once she find that out. But anyways, back to Shanti, right? So, you got Shanti here. She got this undying, unwavering love and loyalty, even still respect. And what made me feel like she might have had a chance to not get HIV from Jannar was if she wasn't in love with him for real. Because then she would have seen that he was on that stuff. She would have seen he was on that stuff, and she would have been like, ew, I don't want you. And she still would have manipulated him, but told him, yo, listen, you're a dope head. I'm not sleeping with you. And she could have either cut him off for a long time, long enough for them to have their differences and break apart without her getting burnt by sleeping with him again. But since they already let us know through dialogue that she's really in love with him, and then she proved it, also, by making all that money from the pills and saying, babe, this for us. This for us. It's like she planning their future. And she ready to, to cross over anybody for them. I'm like, yeah. She got that action. She got that action. She got that house in Virginia. And guess what? If she don't got hepatitis or HIV from Jannard already, right? We know Jannard is going to relapse within the next two episodes. By episode 9, he's going to relapse. We know this. We're not done with Jannard being a dopehead. I believe there's more. There's They can get even crazier with dopehead Jannard. You know what I'm saying? Even crazier. It's a darker path he could go on, right? By episode 9, he's going to relapse with another needle. And then they're going to show him sleeping with uh, Shanti again. Now, here's the thing. She realized he's getting high again. She might leave him. She might actually really beat him up instead of just slapping him around like a housewife. She actually might beat him up. And maybe she'll cut him off for a while. But if they slept with each other before that point, boom, she got it. She got the head. She got the house in Virginia. She got that action. You know what I'm saying? She got that, she got that big H. You feel know I me? Mean? You feel me? And that H go either way, HIV or hepatitis. But it's coming, yo. It's coming. It's coming because cause the fact it's it's either this, right? Shanti is gonna end up dying for Jannard by the end of the season or during next season. Or she gonna end up being displeased with Jannard and whatever for whatever reason, probably for getting high again. Or for realizing that. He has more loyalty to CBI and Diamond over her. And they're going to break away. She's going to do a thing with Claudia. And then she's going to find out that while she was sleeping with Jannard, she got that H. It's that, it's that simple, man. That's very realistic. And then it's a certain topic within the street life, within doing drugs, an outcome that comes from doing drugs. That the power writers have not executed on yet. It's perfect. It's a lot of dialogue. It's a lot of dialogue that come from that. Cause then we can see, are oh, we gonna have Shanti go to Claudia route where because she was violated by Jadar, she just gonna hate every man, turn a lesbian, blah blah blah. That's too predictable. But it could go that way. Or could it be that she realized that she got this forever disease from Jannar? And she ends up linking back with Jannard. Like, yo, listen, we in this together. It's me and you now. Now it's really me and you. You sleep with another woman, I'll kill you. You know what I mean? Or we can have it to where she gets so depressed or she go through some kind of trauma, right? She catch Jannard doing drugs and she say, let me get some. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Now we got a now we got a Chicago version of Jukebox who's who, who's on the heron and she really turning up. That'll be crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? I think we need that. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Am I reaching? Do you think it's a possibility that Shanti could get HIV or hepatitis or something like that from Janara? Do you think maybe she got it already? Do you think maybe she's still faking her love? Because at this point, I don't think she is. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank all y'all who been sticking with me from day one. 
Thank you to all y'all who recently became my subscribers over the past couple weeks, couple days, couple months. I appreciate you. If you rock with me, the cash app is JPeterson91. Feel free to send a dollar donation. Peace.